there are many job functions that have the potential to expose workers to energized electrical parts. These workers must understand the hazards presented by exposed energized parts and know how to protect themselves through the use of safe electrical work practices. Workers whose job tasks may expose them to energized parts must be properly qualified. Of course, everyone likes to think they are qualified, but when it comes to electrical work, the term qualified has a very important and specific meaning. A qualified person is one who has skills and knowledge related to the construction and operation of the electrical equipment and installations and has received safety training to recognize and avoid the hazards involved. It's important for electrical workers to understand that the definition of qualified is very specific to the task being done and the equipment involved. This means that a worker may be qualified to perform a specific task on a certain piece of electrical equipment while remaining unqualified to perform the same task on a different piece of equipment. Many electrical injuries occur when workers attempt to work on equipment for which they are not qualified. If you have any doubts about the equipment you plan to service, stop and seek out all necessary information before proceeding. Of course, many well-qualified electrical workers have been injured or killed by needlessly working on energized equipment, failing to wear proper PPE, or making assumptions about the equipment on which they work. When it comes to electricity, it only takes an instant to turn a momentary mistake into a fatality. When performing any type of electrical work, the number one goal is to avoid injury. And not just to you, but to your coworkers and nearby pedestrians as well. One important way to help prevent injuries is to understand the various approach boundaries which govern the qualifications, protective equipment, and permits required as workers approach exposed energized parts. When exposed energized parts are present, safe electrical work practices require establishing two approach boundaries 